Hey, I'm Justin. I'm the new metabolism rate trainer here, and I'm here with Amy. She's going to be helping me demonstrate the exercise. Going over our first MRCs, um, MRC 1 and 2, that we put each of our new Total Solutions members through. Um, and these are exercises that you can do in the gym, and we'd love to have you in the gym, or if you have to go outside of the gym, we want to make these available to you inside and out. So if there was a case you couldn't make it to the gym, we want you to be able to do your exercises too, because movement is just as important as the food part. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do in our MRC1 is the high step. And the high step is basically just a march. So we want to pick our legs up and act like we're marching in place. As we can see Amy doing. This is pretty simple. So another way, if this is kind of basic for you, is we can kind of speed it up a little bit. So we can, that might be a little um, so more if my challenging. Knees are bad, then I can just keep going. That's right. Okay, so the next exercise in the MRC one is going to be the side step. We want, we want to stay at shoulder, uh, feet shoulder length apart, and we want to just step to the side, bring your feet together, and step back to the other side. We're going to do this for about 15 seconds. Just really going to get my heart rate up? Well, if you want your heart rate up and if it seems basic for you, uh, we can go faster. Jump. Okay. And all of us start at different levels, so if you have to sit in a chair and you can't stand up in the chair, you guys, we also implement them so they can be done in the chair. So Amy is going to demonstrate the high step. And any movement that's better is better than no movement. And now we're going to demonstrate to you the side step in a seated fashion as well. Remember to bring both feet together on each side. Now we're going to have Amy demonstrate this uh, agility quad exercise. So go to the front, to the side, back, bring the feet together, and back to the original spot. So is it okay if I ask my arm? You can. You can actually do that, and you can lunge. You want to lunge to the side. This will hit your quad really well too. That looks great. Okay. So the next exercise is the jump rope. And I know everybody's heard of the jump rope before. And usually the motion like this we want. If we have an exercise to do, you don't have to have a jump rope. So I'll have Amy demonstrate that right quick. And this is a modified version of the jump rope as well as the normal version. Feel free to do either one or vary it up as she's doing here. We just want to get you moving in any way you feel fit to do it. That is fine with you. Next exercise is the half jack. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the jumping jack, but if not, we want to bring our feet together and we want to come out to the side and while raising our arms. And we want to come back to center and then we're going to head the opposite direction. So out and back up. Amy's keeping her back straight, fixing the knee that's coming out. And this is the way we want you to do it. Or you can do a regular jump. Now we're going to do the agility square. So we want to envision that we're standing inside of a square. And we're going to hit all four sides of the square with our feet. So first we're going to step to the right. And hit the right side, come back to center. Hit the left, come back to center. Hit the front come back to center and then hit the back and come back to center. And I like to keep it side to side and front to back in that order because it's easier for everyone to remember. If you need a little extra challenge you don't have to lunge but if you want some more challenge we can lunge kind of like Amy's doing now. So feel free to move at your own pace, we're not rushing. We're going to start with the MRC2, and this is more of a resistance based exercise. So we want Amy to stand with our feet about shoulder length apart. We want her to place her hands on the wall a little down. And this is going to be a wall push up. So we want Amy to come in towards the wall and then push back out. And this is going to be a push up but it's going to be less strenuous. 
strain on your body and on your shoulders than a regular push up would be. Our next exercise in the MRC2 is a calf raise, and it's basically a standing up on your toes. So you're going to stand up and hold for one second, and then come back down. You'll be up again, hold, and come back down. Now, if you have balance problems, feel free to hold on to something like Amy's doing here. Okay. If you need more stretch on the calf raise, you can find something that gives you a little more elevation. And then we're to still hold, and then come back down. So now we're going to do the pull down. So we want to reach our arms up as high as we can, and we want to grab. Uh, you can also use free weights or a bottle or can in this exercise as well. So what we want to do is we want to bring our arms down to a 45 degree angle, stop, and then repeat. Now, be aware that she's making a 45 degree angle with her arms, and we're coming back up. Now we're going to do leg extensions. I'm going to have Amy demonstrate the leg extension. We want to be sure to find something to hold on to. We kind of gain our balance. And then we want to raise it, the knee up, 90 degrees, and extend. See how Amy's keeping her upper leg in place? That's what we want to see exercise is called the tricep extension and the general way we teach this is we want to have our hands behind our head as far down bent on the elbows and then we want to extend our hands up keeping our arms still and back down and hands back up so it, uh, the other way we want to do we want to bend at the waist forward we want to keep our upper arm steady and just move our forearm back. You should feel this really good in your tricep, the back of your arm. Our next exercise is the arm curl. And I'll have Amy demonstrate as I describe. So what we want Amy to do is bring her arms in as close to her body as she can, keeping her arms fully extended. And we want her to bend at the elbow, bring her hands to her shoulders. Okay, this exercise can use free weights as well as water bottle or a can of something you have around the house. Our last exercise on the MRC2 is the sit up or as we like to call the ab crunch. Starting at the beginner level, we teach our crunches in a chair and we'll have Amy sitting down the bench right now. We'll have her come forward and tighten her midsection and then come back up. We want to do this generally 10 times and then take a break. So what I normally teach the people in, in our MRC classes is that they can do this ab crunch when they wake up in the morning. So you only have to come up a little bit as I'm going to have Amy describe, and this is just as effective as a sit -up. So we want you to do 10 of these, and uh, as I said, you can do them as soon as you get up in the morning. They're already over. If you like the things that Justin's showing you today, please stop in and see one of our staff members so you can learn more information here in Total Solutions.